Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how to allow your customer to log into your WooCommerce website using social media accounts. Let me show you how does this work. Here I am on the WooCommerce website. Let me add one product to the shopping cart. So I'm going to add this product and let's go to view cart. On this WooCommerce website, I am not logged into the website. Here, when I click on proceed to checkout, it will ask me to log in or register before checkout. So in the first option, I can use my email address to log in. Now here it shows that this email address is not registered. Then I can create a new account using this email address. So here I can enter the password and it will create an account. Let's go back. Now here you will see another option to log in to the website using your social media accounts such as Google and Facebook. In this example, I have used only Google. However, you can add Facebook option also. So we are going to install this plugin on this WooCommerce website and it will allow your customers to log into your website using their social media accounts. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this dummy website. Now I'm going to install a plugin. So this is the plugin that I'm going to install in this video. The name of the plugin is YITH easy login and register pop-up for WooCommerce. This is a paid plugin and it will cost you around $79.99. I'll give you the link in the description box. If you want, you can purchase this plugin using my link in the description box. So here you can see the benefits of using this plugin. Give your customer a usable, modern and quick solution to log in or register a new account in your e-commerce shop during the checkout. And this is how it will look. They will be able to register or log in using email address or Facebook or Google. I have already downloaded this plugin. So I'm going to install this plugin now. So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Go to plugins and click on add new. Click on upload because I have it downloaded on the computer. So I'm going to use the file. So select the file of the plugin and click on install now. All right, the plugin is uploaded. Click on activate plugin. All right, so here you will see the option YITH or you can scroll down and here you will see the plugin YITH easy login. You can click on settings or here you can go to YITH and click on easy login. It will open the settings page. So this is the dashboard and these are the general settings. Now here you can see the pop up size if you want to change you can change the size. We will go through all these settings one by one. This is the color, button color. Okay, so these are the general settings. Now click on the first step options. Now here you can see allow username and these are the basic settings. Now here it shows Facebook login is enabled and you need to find API ID. So as of now, I'm going to disable Facebook login and for Google login, I'm going to disable it. I'll show you how to get the client ID on the Google. So let's save the changes. First of all, we will see how does this look with the email login. I'm going to open this website in another browser where I'm not logged into the website. So I have opened this website in another browser. Let's go to a view cart. So here you will see we have a product in the cart. I'm going to click on proceed to checkout. And when I click on it, here you will see the option proceed to checkout, but first login or register. So I will need to log in to the website. And if I am new, then I need to register to the website. So here we can see the option. You can see the option email address or username. If the customer is already register they can enter their email address if they are not registered then they can register to your website so i'm going to try with this email click continue i have entered the email 
it shows that you are new here create your account so with this email address i have not created account on this website so it is asking me to create an account so i need to enter the password here and once i enter the password it will register to the website so i'm going to close it for now okay now let's go to the settings here now let's see login options so here you see proceed to check out welcome back if you have already registered then it will show welcome back and this is the message so these are the basic messages that you can customize if required here you can see text for stay logged in so if the customer is already registered then they can log in and stay logged in these are the registration options proceed to check out you are new here create your account i just showed you let's try let me show you again okay it shows you are new here create your account this is what it shows here create your account it seems you don't have an account so this is the message you can see here so if you want to customize you can customize this message and set a new password it will also check the password strength if I enable this, it will show the privacy checkbox. So there are many settings that you can change. If you want to enable Google reCAPTCHA on the form, you can enable that also. Let me show you. If I change it to yes, you will need to enter the public key and the private key from the Google reCAPTCHA. Okay, now let's move on to the next one that is for the lost password options. So these are the settings for the lost password and this is additional pop-up let's go back to the general settings now you can see the pop-up size here okay and these are the animation fade in fade out if you want to change it you can change the animation also this is the background color that's that's the white color you can see now this is the button color so here you can see the button colors so if you want to change it you can change it i'm going to change it to this color and for the hover i'm going to use black okay let's save the changes go back here close it let's refresh it now here you will see the color change for the button Right now, let's see how we can add the social media login. Go to the first step options. Scroll down and here you will see Facebook login. Enable it and enable Google login. Now click on it and here you will see you need Facebook app ID and you will need Facebook app secret. How can you find it if you click on it? Now here you will need to create an app here you can see register as a facebook developer to gain access to our app so you can go through these settings and you can get the app id and the app secret so first you need to create an app and after that you can get the app id and app secret key similarly for the facebook for the google you can go here and we need google client id Okay, so let's click on app find it and here you will see the detailed information how you can find the app id the client id go to the api console so i'm going to click on it, it shows apis and services credential new credential oauth api and services here go to credentials and we need OAuth client ID. So I'm going to click on create credentials. We are going to create a new one. OAuth client ID. Click on it. Application type will be web application. I'm going to change the name. Whatever your project name, you can use the project name there. You can add the URL of your shop.
click on create okay so i've got the oauth client id so i'm going to copy this one and here i'm going to use that one okay let's click on save changes let's go back refresh it click on it now here you will see the option login with google here you can change the color combination you can make changes to the color this is the button color so as of now i'm not going to change it however you can see this login with google and you will see the same here so if i click on it now i can select my email and i can login so this is how you can use this plugin to allow the customer to log in or register to your woocommerce website using social media accounts so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips